Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video, I want to show you how to configure a contact form. All right, so let's go over here to the add element button, click on the contact, and then just select on any of the forms for now. Um, you can configure the appearance to make it look how you want it to look, including the button um, later on, okay? So I'll show you how to do that in another tutorial. Um, for now, we're going to resize it to how we want it to fit. I'm going to right click and then go into configure. Now you're going to see this box here. It's going to give you two different options. It's going to be the configure by received email response, and then it's going to be the default. Now this option here is going to be um, how to link a custom contact form like the one here into your mailing boss account. I will do that in part two of this video. All right, over here is going to be to send it to a specific email, okay? So it doesn't have to be linked to mailing boss. You can send all this contact information into one particular email, um, no matter where it's housed. So let's go ahead with this option and then we'll go over the default here in part two. All right, so what we're gonna do, once we click edit, we're going to get this box and then we're simply going to put in our email here. So let's say, for example, your mail at site.com. Um, then we have to put in a subject now the subject is going to be the default that automatically populates when somebody sends information through this contact form. Um, for example, we can put here first class inquiry. And what this is going to do is every time someone clicks on submit here in this form, um, it's going to say this here in the subject line whenever it reaches your email over here. Okay, so this is one way you can start to segment your list. Now action taken after subscription. Now if we click here on the button, um, we have the option to link it to a page within our editor, okay, a downloadable document which we upload ourselves, an external web address or a pop-up which we also configure ourselves here inside of the editor. Now, um, just for this example purpose, I'm going to come back here and keep it in no action. Um, come, I'm going to use this as an inquiry to sign up for services. Okay, now what I want people to do is stay on this home page after they click submit. All right now we just go down to the automated message and this is an automatic email that you can set up okay so we're going to select on email so that it corresponds to this box here and then we're going to simply write in our email so we can say something like thank you for your inquiry we will get to you in the next 24 to 48 hours for example all right, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and I'll show you why in just a moment. All right, so once you do this, um, this is automatically going to send once they submit, it's going to give them this email back here. Then we can confirm. All right, now, once we're done with this, we can confirm once more and it's going to bring us back to our main configuration box. Now, what I can do instead of using the automated email, which is not mandatory, um, I can go over here and set a success message instead or both. Okay, and what we will do here is basically I would paste in this or you can write whatever else you want. And this is basically gonna happen or show up after they click on submit. So they'll click submit and then this will show as a small pop-up on the screen inside of your website. So I'm going to confirm here. And once you do that, your contact form is configured. Um, check me out for part two so we can go ahead and link this custom form to Mailing Boss.